the WHO and uh, also the uh, center, U.S. Center for Disease Control have been advising uh, us uh, that if you must wear the face masks, it's, you only wear it when you are showing symptoms of COVID-19 and all of people who have uh, shown signs of uh, COVID-19. But some health experts have disagreed with this notion that you should only wear it when you're showing signs. If you look at what China is doing, statistics indicate that China has been able to contain its situation because they made the wearing of the masks very compulsory. And, and so the discussion is now that should we be making it compulsory here in Ghana that everyone should wear their face masks. That's what we are discussing this morning. Send us your views and comments on all our social media platforms, TV3 Ghana, because I will be engaging Professor Ifwa Hesu, who joins me, Vasca. Good morning. Good morning, Prof. How are you? I'm doing very well by God's grace. So I want to ask you, the discussion about wearing of face masks, should we be making a compulsory here in Ghana? Well, that's a very good question to ask. The Medical Women's Association of Ghana is making that recommendation and we are leading a campaign in that direction. Mm -hmm. And there are many reasons for that. Mm -hmm. First of all, we know that most of the transmission is through aerosolization. Okay. You know, when um, the, part, the viral particle comes in droplets, and either falls directly on the person you're speaking to's face or drops onto a surface and um, drops onto a surface and you touch it with your hands and then take your hands to your face okay. without having washed them. So, you know, when you are speaking face to face with someone, mm -hmm. by all means, some of your saliva will spit out. Mm -hmm. And similarly, the other person's saliva will spit out. Mm -hmm. And the aim of the mask will be to contain yours and contain the other person. Mm -hmm. Because as we know, there are people who are called asymptomatic carriers. That means yeah, they, show they may have the disease, mm -hmm. but they haven't exhibited the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And so if you, I wear a mask and you wear a mask, you are keeping your own droplets and I'm keeping mine to myself so we are protecting each other mm -hmm. and the chance of these asymptomatic carriers then passing it on becomes reduced mm -hmm. so that is the rationale yeah but you know there are concerns that wearing of face masks is a cultural <laughs> thing if you look at the Asians, they are they wear masks, you know. But when it, it go to the West side, people don't are not really used to wearing masks. All <laughs> but the time. what what makes it a culture? It didn't <laughs> used to be their culture mm -hmm. until this disease came. This mm -hmm. is a new disease for everybody, mm -hmm. and they because it started early with them have learned some lessons, mm -hmm. which I believe that we should also be willing and able to learn if we want to not go through the same harrowing experience that they did mm -hmm. and um, that that long length of time before they could go back to normal. Mm -hmm. And if we want to shorten it, you learn from the past and from experiences of others. Mm -hmm. And then you, you carry those and you move on. Let's talk about it. So as for culture, it's, we mm -hmm. will all get used to seeing each other. And if you know it's for a good purpose, you know the reason behind it mm -hmm. then why not mm -hmm. i would do it and mm -hmm. i'm doing it as you can see okay so we'll talk about the use of the face masks uh, shortly but we know that government uh, ha has engaged some five companies you know to produce face masks in ghana uh we are told that every day uh, that was supposed to have started on tuesday we're supposed to see some 150,000 face masks, you know, churned out. We are yet to see them uh, in the system. But do you think that availability of these masks is what is, you know, ensuring that, uh, uh, hampering efforts to ensure that everybody wears these masks? Well, you know, the masks that government is making are the surgical grade masks, which are for use by health professionals in the healthcare setting. Those are not the ones that we are recommending. The WHO has now come around to suggesting that when you go out in public, where you're going to be interacting with people, where it's not going to be possible for you to even um, use the physical distancing okay. of <clears throat> six feet, mm -hmm. then it is wise when you're going to take a mask. It will at least reduce 
the droplets that you'll be taking in. Okay. All and right. the fact that you're not going to be using surgical grade masks, which will be reserved for the hospital setting where the infection rates are probably higher, mm -hmm. still means you get some protection from mm -hmm. wearing a mask, an ordinary cloth mask when you go out. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are even recommending scarves or bandanas or simple things like that. Mm -hmm. That's the principle we are, we are using. Okay, so let's look at even the wearing of these fake masks. Uh, uh, people have concerns about how it is handled, for instance. You see people talking and they are having to adjust this here and there. How do we wear these face masks? Well, the face masks have an elastic loop on the side. Okay. The ones the Medical Women's Association of Ghana recommends okay. have three pleats in the middle. Mm -hmm. So then that gives you room to be able to cover your nose adequately, cover under your chin, and hold it by the ear. Okay. As you can see, I am speaking, and you can still hear me even yes. through the mask. Some mm -hmm. people have the feeling that you have to take it off before you can speak, mm -hmm. and so on. But that is totally unnecessary. Mm -hmm. And we have developed flyers which show exactly how to put the mask on mm -hmm. and how to take it off okay. and how to look after it. The okay. ones we are recommending are not single use like the surgical grade mask. These right. are reusable. Okay. So you, when you come back home, you take it out, you wash it and you iron it ready for the next time you go out. Okay. So that was what I wanted to come to because people don't have the luxury of you know exactly. buying more multiple exactly. face masks so if you say we it has to be reusable can you take us through how to use it someone is saying you should use ethanol you should dip it into ethanol and dry it if you don't have <laughs> ethanol how do you yeah. ensure that it is reusable well you know the same principles based on which we advocate um hand washing with soap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm which is effective against the virus right? because it is, it is able to break down the fatty envelope of the virus. Okay. So the same soap is what you can use to wash it. So mm -hmm. in hot water, Okay. if you have, uh, if you have a washing machine, you can put it in the washing machine, mm -hmm. but simple soap in hot water, you wash it, hang it out to dry in the sun, preferably, then you iron it with a hot iron mm -hmm. and you're good to go. So if I'm so if I'm if I'm improvising, okay, I don't have the beautiful face masks you have on, and I'm improvising it. Maybe I'm using a bandana, or I'm using a normal handkerchief. Does it apply? Does it? Do we use the same formula of disinfecting? Yes. yes, you have to use the same formula because that's the principle that will make it work. Mm. So it's meant to be after every use, you come back out because you would have had exposure outside mm -hmm. it's advisable as soon as you come back home take it out put it in warm hot soapy water mm -hmm. and what kind of soap are we talking about any kind of soap you have mm. if even it's a piece of bar soap put it in hot water let it froth up and then you put it in mm -hmm. if it is omo you have or if it's any washing detergent you have you put it in the hot water mm -hmm. and then you wash it in Okay, so how often can you, or how long do you have to have the mask on? For instance, if I'm, 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 I'm starting my day, okay, I start my day maybe 6 a.m., how, how many hours do you have to use a face mask? Well, we haven't done the studies um, to suggest any specific time. Okay. But if you have it during the day, you are presumably not going to be in a place where you're going to be all that exposed the whole day. As soon as you come back home, okay. whatever length of time you've been out with, you wash it and then you take another one. So mm. what we recommend is that everybody should have at least two masks. At least two. You know, the cloth mask. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you come, you wash it. It's ready for the next time. In the meantime, if it's raining or something, you can't get it dry. You can take another one mm -hmm. and go out with it the following day. Mm, so people are improvising here and there. Can you recommend, I know that your outfit, you have come up with uh, some masks that you're giving out to people. We'll talk about that, but people are improvising. What should, cont what should be contained in a face mask to ensure that we are protecting ourselves and we are protecting the other person? You know, that's a pretty difficult question to answer, I think. But 
some of the recommendations that have been made by some of these international bodies is mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. I have seen, and I'm sure you have also, videos mm -hmm. of people just using a simple cotton scarf or okay. a large handkerchief okay. and just folding it into three using just an elastic band on the edge, tucking them in and using it as a mask to go. Okay. That is okay, you know, for the long and short haul. Mm, so that, those, mm. those, yes. But I've seen African prints as well. Are they too heavy yes, yes. or they are okay? No, no. African print usually is, we, we, what is advocated is cotton. So okay. polyester and all of those things are not so suitable. Okay. But cotton. Cotton. So cotton, so long as it's cotton, it's perfectly okay. Primarily it should be cotton. So tell us about uh, what you're doing uh, to help Ghanaians with regards the distribution of face masks. Right. The Medical Women's Association of Ghana has been in existence since the early 60s. And we have taken upon ourselves in this uh, COVID-19 era to do a number of things. Last mm -hmm. weekend, we fed some disadvantaged uh, persons, about 350 in Kumasi and in Accra. And we are taking on this project as a way to sensitize people to this COVID-19 and what the implications are. Mm -hmm. Because we're also noticing that social distancing is a bit difficult for some people, you know, especially mm. um, the lower income people. So we are aiming to raise this awareness and we are making and distributing, aiming to make and distribute one million masks to okay. underprivileged persons. Okay. Not persons who can afford it, who can go and buy it themselves, okay. but underprivileged persons and teach them how to use it properly. Who are these so, underprivileged what? persons? Am I underprivileged? <laughs> no, definitely not. You work at TV3. You can afford more than three, four masks at a time. No. We're talking about maybe some slum dwellers. We're okay. talking about um, some disabled person. We are talking about some elderly persons who okay. are at risk mm -hmm. because they may have underlying conditions. Okay. So they are the ones we are considering as disadvantaged. Okay. And we are launching this uh, appeal so that as many persons as would like to can come on board and help us to achieve this aim. And in mm -hmm. doing so, there will be more awareness raised. A lot of um, seamstresses and tailors are contacting us. How can they help? What can they do? We're looking for both monetary contribution as well as contribution in kind. Because if we can get people to donate fabrics, to donate, the, we use co uh, cotton bath and we use the, um, what you call the lining, the stiffening lining that we use, uh, seamstresses use when they're sewing in the middle, mm -hmm. which provides the filter. So we mm -hmm. are advocating a three-layer kind of mask mm -hmm. to improve the protection. Mm. Professor Efa Hesse, we are grateful that you made time to speak with us this morning. And God will surely uh, reward you you abundantly you know so uh professor ifa hesi is the president of the ghana medical women association are uh, telling us what they're doing she said they're distributing some one million face masks to the less privileged in society what are you doing in your own small way to support government's effort to fight COVID 19.